What's going on, guys? Welcome to episode 31 of our uh, Wolfpack Return to Primetime Dynasty. We, this is our week three recruiting for season two. We are working on our middle linebacking core, trying to get the two spots that we need filled, and uh, hopefully we can do that. And so uh, I'm actually f recording this audio before I chop up the game against ECU, and uh, it was a good game, you guys. It was a good game. Um, it kind of scared me for a little bit. Once Chuck Griffin, um, whenever he actually fumbled the ball, I was kind of, I was getting kind of worried, cause uh, don't really want that. Um, and so, um, but uh, we we pulled through. The team pulled together. I gotta find a way to cut down on Chuck Mangum's uh, interceptions. I think he's thrown like, uh, I think four that game. He threw four that game. But uh, Scott Fleming came through. Um, I remember last season he was dropping the ball quite a bit, so the off-season training probably helped him. And so uh, it was really, really good, you guys. Uh, I think it was a good game. Um, I finally got the Ravens game recorded um, in my Eagles franchise. So uh, hopefully that will be coming out before any of these videos. Um and to tell you the truth, this will be after the fact, but and I'll probably receive messages. Um, it it was on all pro. That is the second hardest difficulty. But whenever I was playing it, about halfway through the game, I was like, "Wow, I've been playing on all pro way too much. I need to bump it up." And you can't bump up the difficulty in Madden during a game. Um, at least I couldn't, and so um, it really did feel like I was playing a pro game, and so. Uh, it uh got really really easy and so after the game i actually have it recorded i actually bumped up the game to all madden so whenever we play our next game against the cardinals it will be on all madden difficulty um so it's kind of cool to see that my skills have gone up to the next level and uh we completely ran the crap over the ravens um it was an awesome game i really enjoyed that game um but uh, we're not talking about that right now. Like, but uh, I do just want to say that um, I do realize how easy it was. Uh, so I don't need um, I don't need any more help realizing that because that was a very easy win. And uh, defense stepped up after that first drive. Whenever Boykins intercepted it, I was like, "Wow, this game is going to go really good." So, um, but uh, anyways, uh, so uh, we're looking at Johnny Clark. He is a fullback. He's a blocking fullback. He's actually. Uh, He's actually a gem. If you really look at it, he has he's gone a plus thirteen. He's a seventy one overall, a one star recruit. That is freaking awesome. So uh, we are his top top spot. Um, so uh, hopefully we can pick him up. Uh, that'd be a big that'd be a big pickup. And uh, maybe we will make his top three. I'm pretty sure we will, but uh, you just never know. And I'm about to sneeze so bad. <coughs> <coughs> uh, excuse me. All right. So um. But yeah, so I um, hope you guys did enjoy the ECU game. Um, I do show the, um, we'll get to it towards the end of the video, but I do show the our uh, schedule for this uh, for NC State um, in the following weeks. We play Boston College next um, in Boston College in our ACC opener, so it should be a good game. Uh, we did win a rivalry game, uh, which was which helps my coaching prestige. Um, last game was, was a rivalry game against uh, ECU, so that was that was good to get a good win and get our first win of the season. And we're I think we're up back we're back up to like uh, I think twentieth uh, in the nation, so uh, that's pretty exciting. Um, but uh, you know, hopefully we can get. We can get uh, some more wins this season. I, I my goal is to make a bowl. Um, I really want to get into the ACC championship game um, again, and pr particularly against uh, Virginia Tech, and uh, actually win against them. But uh, I just want to get there and get into it so we can go to the Rose Bowl, or is it not the Rose Bowl, the Orange Bowl? Because um, I think that'd be fun to do. Uh, you know, if we have two losses on the season, this as long as the losses don't come against our own um, the division that we have to win, um, which means that we I don't think we can lose against Florida State. So we have to win against Florida State, Miami. Uh, I think we have to win. I know NC State, uh, Wake Forest. I'll have to look at my division and to see which ones we have to actually win, and I'll have to make a video on that or something. But uh. 
The Duke dynasty is going good. I'm not going to talk about that, but I just want to tell you guys to go check that out. The Miami game was awesome. Um, and about, I think tomorrow I'm going to record the uh, the Louisville game. So uh, hopefully uh, hopefully it will be a good game as well, but uh, we won't talk about that. It's different things. As I said in my other Duke video, I think last night, um, I was just like, I'm not going to talk about the other series in, in the specific series so like it doesn't cross over. Uh, just so it can keep it more authentic. But um, Jordan Cunningham is another balanced fullback. And uh, we just offered him a scholarship right there. So uh, maybe maybe he'll take it. Uh, he's a 62 overall, which is pretty nice. But uh, right here, we're just looking. And we're going to go ahead and work on, uh, I'm pretty sure we work on, uh, yeah, Henry Brown, who's a junior college run-stopping linebacker. And, uh, you know, hopefully try to get him. He is a gym, so that's exciting to see. Uh, if we can get him, that'd be awesome. Uh, any linebacker that we get would be pretty cool. I think the top two guys that I'm looking at right now for linebackers is probably our best choices, but you just really never know. Um, and then uh, just I, I hope that our defense can stay the same. Our defense definitely stepped up in the ECU game, uh, as you can tell. Um, I think Leach got the game-winning interception, so uh, that was pretty cool. Uh, that was a great drive by ECU at the end of the game to try to try to get something in there. And it, whenever he threw it back at the end, I was like, "Oh no, here we go!" And uh, but he he did it. So uh, and he got the interception, which was exciting. And he got a foot down in the back of the end zone to make it an actual interception. So it, so it would actually count. So that was pretty cool. But um, definitely Lane. That one shot by Lane. I think I threw it like deep to left hand side, and he caught it right at like the three yard line on like a third in like 26 and it was awesome but definitely got to get the turnovers down as we in our recruiting uh right there i'm going to show you guys the uh our actual uh schedule but uh i just need to get the turnovers down because it's they're really killing us um so uh but as we look right here all right so uh boston college is our next game we go at, we have three straight uh road games boston college at florida state at pittsburgh Maryland and Clemson at home. Then we go on the road to Wake Forest. Um, and then we go, we have Colorado at home, Miami at home, North Carolina at home, and then we go into Duke to end the season. So um, really, uh, the next stretch of games will be the worst because we go three straight at home, I mean, on the road. Um, so um, hopefully we can pull out wins in those and hopefully we uh can uh, get more wins under our belt as we check the injury report just to make sure nobody's hurt and nobody was so uh next time guys we will take on the eagles of boston college thank you guys for watching um if you guys have not checked out uh actually nothing really <laughs> I, I was gonna say something i'm not going to uh, but again guys thank you for watching hope you guys enjoy and see you guys next time bye